So today we're going to program this PCM. So before we get started, let's go ahead and clean the solder pads off so that way we can flash it and get it on there. So let's get started on that first. Now let's go ahead and get this bin ready for it. So I already got it loaded up in the uh, the 4x4 software like you saw me use in the dump of this where we had to reverse it. We have to do the same thing here before we write it back on here. Now I'm just writing a stock Escalade tune onto it uh, for from a different uh, OS. It's got a different operating system on it. Uh, hopefully it'll work with this one because this operating system I was able to find an, an XDF file for for Tuner Pro so that way I could possibly actually do some changes in tuning with it in the future but for right now I just wanted to see if I can write this to it and it work. Uh, I have a feeling that even if it doesn't work properly it'll work anyways because um, that's what a lot of people say is that the in the, di the main differences you'll run into are Intel versus AMD on here. The Intel ones will work, but they won't write uh, from my understanding. I'm not, I'm not completely sure yet, though. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to swap the AB on there, file, save as, and we're going to save it as uh, P PCM Escalade swapped. All right. Saved it. Now let's go ahead and open it up in the Mini Pro software. Escalade swap. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and write that to it. So. Alright, so that took a. Uh, what is that? See, 10 seconds and then 25 seconds, another 5, so about 40 seconds uh, to do it. So that's actually a pretty long write time for something modern. Let's see if it got warm. Nope, still nice and cool. So let's go ahead and put this over. Alright, let's go ahead and put down some more flux here before we get started. And drop the chip in. It looks like I missed one when I was desoldering. Let me grab that wick wherever. There it is. Let's go ahead and drop this thing back in its case and uh, we'll uh, swap it out with the one that's in the box up there for testing uh, instrument clusters and see if we still have a working ACU. Uh, really have no idea. This is kind of a first time test here. So let's see how this goes. All right, the shorter two screws go here and your longer four of them go there.
Hopefully that AC is not too loud for you guys in the background. It's just, it's hot out here in the garage today. So here's the uh, ECU in a box that I use for testing. All these random ones that aren't plugged into anything, those are for uh, the uh, transmission. So for park reverse neutral. All right. These are just seven millimeters right here. And I'm just gonna plug this thing and see if it's completely bricked or if it still does something. Power this thing up and see what we get out of it. Got it moved up out of the way. Alright, so it's not uh, pulling any crazy current I'm not used to seeing. So we'll plug that in and give it that guy. And oh, look at that. We're still functioning. Alright, that's that's a good sign. So temp, uh, let's do it. Yeah, oil pressure is kind of a quick to respond one. Yep, so ECU at least still works. Um, no idea if it's properly running. I, I can't try to save anything to it. I, I don't have a uh, tool to save to it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, uh, we flashed it with a different ROM and it definitely works. So I'm happy with those results. All right, so let's uh, take a look real quick here on the Tech 2. This is just one of those cheap knockoff Tech 2s. Hopefully y'all can read it all right. I know I got uh, a little, it's a little hard to read on there it looks like, but let's pull up the calibration ID here and see so yep we got the six uh, six zero three uh, and if I can really try to get that to capture on camera there that's the best I can do to capture this tech 2 on camera maybe zoom in on it alright so you can see we have the two one five eight seven six zero three which is the operating system we just flashed onto it so uh, we got that and let's see if the VIN what the VIN is okay so yep we have a, it looks like it is a Cadillac VIN which is what we use to Cadillac dump so um, yeah that's uh, really all I could verify on it I, I, I can't uh, Right now, I don't have anything to, to flash onto there to see if uh, we actually have an AMD or an Intel flash to check that. But uh, so far, it's a good dump. But the whole point of this test anyways was to um, go ahead and verify that we could, in fact, flash with a Mini Pro on uh, one of these now all what I need to do is actually get the uh, tools that you would use to connect directly in. This is another one. I, I have two of these ECUs laid around. So I need to get that tool in. Uh, it's going to be a order from overseas, so who knows how long it's going to take with this COVID-19 going around. Um, but while I, while I wait for that to come in, I will need to make a new harness. Uh, make one that's specifically for just powering these up and programming them. So I'll, I'll do a video on tearing one of these down and making a bench harness for powering up the ECUs. Uh, but until then, I'll probably be that this will probably be the only other video coming up on ECU programming for the next month or so. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and subscribe so that way you don't fall out and miss when I do finally get the stuff in to do a little more tuning on these. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.